Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel, possibly becoming a Patreon. It would help me out immensely. Now this video is a tutorial video for the Radio Master Zero radio. Now we are going to be um, do updating the multi-protocol module within your radio. This obviously depends if you have either the uh, 4-in-1 module or the CC2500 chip in your radio. If I've obviously got the Express LRS, this wouldn't it would, wouldn't be of any use to you. So anyway, let's have a look at the uh, website where we download the firmware and then we'll switch over to the radio and I'll show you to uh, update your firmware. Now let's take a look at the website. Now you can see we need to go to this website. Now the links will be in the description below. So it's the multimodule.org. Now we need to go to firmware download and down in this section here, module selection, we've got to pick the right module. So if we scroll down, you'll see we've got the Zero internal module four in one, and then we've got the internal module CC2500. So you need to pick the correct one. So I'm going to click, click that one. Now we're going to go over to the firmware version, which the latest version is 1337. And in my radio, I think it's 133.0 as it was supplied by Radio Master. Now we can keep all of this as normal, but here we need to choose our channel mapping. Now you'll get your channel mapping by looking at your radio uh, under the system menu. So mine is AETR. Now, once you've done that, we now need to download. Now I'm going to just, if I point at this, it will tell us what it says. Now this is for the eSky TX and E9X radios only. So we do not need this file for either of the, the modules, the, the mod protocol modules that could be in your radio. So we're going to download this one. And the scripts. Now we can go to our downloads folder. And right, so these are the two files we need. So what I'm going to do is copy, the, uh, cut those from there. Then I'm going to go to my radios. And I've already set up a, a Zero directory. So I am now going to do, make a new folder and call it firmware. Firmware. And we are going to pop those in there. There we go. Now, this is the actual firmware. Now, the Lua scripts, we need to un extract those. So let me go back. And so we're going to double click it. And then we're going to extract all. We can extract it to that directory. And there we go. Now, we should have everything we need. OK, that's looking good. All right. Now let's turn our radio on and plug it into our computer. So, and we're going to use the port at the USB-C port at the top of the radio. The bottom one is for your charging, battery charging. So let's plug in. And we're going to select on the radio storage. Okay, now what we can do is go back here. And we go back to where I downloaded the firmware. OK, now all we need to do is take the firmware, the bin file. We're going to copy that and take it over to your USB drive for your radio. Do not go into this RM01. Leave that alone. Completely do not touch that. Uh, we're going to go to the firmware one and I'm going to paste that in there. OK, so now we've got the firmware. Now, the next part, if we go back to that, the, the Lua scripts, is we need to take the scripts, and you can see the directory it's in, multi-Lua uh, multi scripts, scripts and tools. We need to copy those, select all of those, and then go to the same directory within our SD card. So it's going to be scripts and then tools. So we now are going to right click and paste that into there, those files into there. It may say replace, just replace. And we're good to go. We can now unplug our radio and now let's go over to the overhead camera and have a look at the radio to do the actual firmware update. Now let's do the actual firmware update. What we need to do is hit our system button. 
and we are going to scroll across until we come to the SD card. We're going to go to firmware and we're going to click enter. And now we can see the firmware that's on the radio. So we are looking to do this one here. Uh, you can't quite see it, but it, I know that's the version that we're updating to. And if we click enter. And we hold the enter button down. Now this is important. Make sure you choose the correct one. If you had an external module on this and you accidentally send it to that, you could brick the module. So we are going to flash the, not the external, but the internal multi. Click enter. Now you don't need to do this every time if you don't want to. You can look at the website and find out what changes they've made. So it's not necessary that you do this every time. I do it every time, but you don't necessarily have to. Uh, sometimes there can be an important update that they've uh, made to the protocol module. There we go, it was successful. So we're gonna go okay. Now, if we come out of there, return, and then we go to our model settings, hit the model key, and then go across. If we go down now to where we bind our receiver, we should see the new version, and there it is, version 1.3.3.7. So we have successfully updated our multi-protocol module within our Zero radio. And there we go, the process is complete. Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.